Good morning, everybody. Happy Christmas Eve. I am doing a cook along. This is a very spur of the moment thing. Uh, tomorrow I have to work. It'll be Christmas Day. Baby's come on Christmas Day too. And uh, so we're having a potluck and I'm down for a corn casserole and it is super duper easy. If you wanna make something that's easy, this is it. Um, so we will be, so as I was opening all the cans and everything, it's like, oh, you know what? I should do a cook along. So that's what we're doing. So that's why I'm kind of shambles. This is from Pinterest, awesome and easy creamy corn casserole. It is for a nine by nine, but I'm doubling it to make a nine by 13. And if there's any left, I might fill my, these couple little super duper mini little uh, pans for me. All right, so uh, as I said, that's on Pinterest. Also from Pinterest that I made for tomorrow is some cookies. I made some um, eggnog cookies with eggnog glaze, and these are orange cranberry pecan cookies, both from Pinterest. I'll link all these recipes down below. All right, so everything is opened and melted and whatever needs to be done. So a lot of people, they say they it takes too long to cook or they're not really a good baker. The worst part of any cooking slash baking process is just the prep. If you prep it, it'll just be easy peasy, promise. Okay, so what I have in the bowl, because I, I already dumped the um, the Jiffy Mix because, like I said, this is kind of impromptu. So I have, like I said, I'm doubling it. It calls for one package of dry cornbread mix. So, of course, down here, it's Jiffy. So I have two boxes of Jiffy in there right now. Then it says two eggs beaten, which I have doubled. So there are four eggs in here ready to go. It calls for, got the bread mix already. Um, oh, do you know what? I just made a mistake. Half a cup of melted butter, but I'm doubling it, so I need another half cup of melted butter. So let me get that going, and I'm gonna do the rest here quickly. And cut off some chunks here and melt it in the same container. I don't recommend you doing that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this back in the microwave here for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, it's a good thing I caught that. Okay, so moving on, we'll add the butter in a minute. It calls for one 15 ounce can of whole kernel corn, but we're doubling it, so we need 30 ounces. I'm just gonna give this a stir, but I'm not really a fan of canned vegetables, so I'm going to use frozen corn. It's just a little bit, just a little bit better. So this is a bag of frozen corn. It actually is 32 ounces, so I'll just hold back a little bit. I'll just hold back a little bit. And this. Just giving the melted butter a stir. And it needs just another 20 seconds or so. Okay. Okay, let me get rid of this whisk here because I don't know why I have a whisk in there. Yeah, so as I said, we're having a potluck tomorrow at work. Um, we're gonna have a ham. One of the doctors is bringing Vietnamese egg rolls, you know, potato salad, just all the all the regular stuff. And hopefully it won't be too busy and we can enjoy our Christmas. But you never know, there was a Christmas a couple of years ago where it was hell in a handbasket. It was really, really bad. I'm gonna wait a minute just to add that butter because it's really hot. So I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients first. I'll add that last. Okay, so then what else do we have? We have one 14.75 ounce can of creamed corn, but again, I have two. And I'm going to add something that's not in the recipe, which is one small can of hatch green chilies. These are mild, they're not hot, but they just will add a little extra flavor to the cornbread um, 
casserole. So let's give all that a good mix. I should have did this in the hand mixer. I don't know what I was thinking. That's all right. I'm put some elbow grease in it. And we still have sour cream to go in. So you can see, really, this is just dump and bake. Once, all, once everything is opened, it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's see if I can get you closer. Okay. Okay, and then we need, uh, let's see, one cup of sour cream, but we're doubling it, so we're gonna add two cups. I'm tempted to just add this whole container, 16 ounces, but that's weight, not volume, so, you know, probably will screw it up. Okay, so two cups of sour cream. I bet this is two cups of sour cream. Okay, I'm just gonna add that, and I'm just gonna add it all. And you know what? I wish I had about two of those small cans of green chilies because I forgot that I was doubling it. Okay, let's get the butter in there. Yeah, I should have used my steak mixer for this. So I'm gonna make a mess. Slow and steady, right? So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, there'll be lots of people working on Christmas away from their families. Hopefully, they'll be able to spend some quality time at some point. Christmas Eve, Christmas night. Okay. Seems kind of loose, doesn't it? But I have made this before. I think, I think that's right. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a one more look over the recipe. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Butter, got it, eggs, got it, cornbread, got it, corn, got it, cream, corn, got it, sour cream, got it. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Garbage. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to just take out a little bit here for my own little Okay. And this obviously I'm not gonna cook as long, probably just like 30 minutes for that. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. So then all of this is going to go in this casserole right here. And I think this is a Southern thing. I have never heard of corn casserole or some people call it corn pudding until I moved down to Texas. I, I don't know if it's like a Southern thing or a US thing all over, but I was not familiar with it until I came here. And okay, that's it. So this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes, that's for nine by nine. So I will check it after 45 minutes, but I'm guessing it's probably gonna need another 20 to 30 minutes after that, but we'll check it after that anyway. So the oven is already preheated at 350, and um, I will show you the finished product when it's all done, so I will see you later. Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. Um, so the corn casserole is done. I originally put it in for the 45 minutes that it called for. It wasn't done at all, it was really still kind of, you know, wishy-washy in the middle so i set it for another 20 minutes and the skewer now comes out clean so i'm going to take it out which i just did obviously so that was 45 minutes and 20 minutes for the 9 by 13 doubled recipe 
you know, I had forgotten that actually it did rise quite a bit because it is cornbread with leavening in there. So I might have only needed to make one recipe um, because it's very deep. So by the time everybody gets their portion, anyway, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it's done. Uh, it took 65 minutes total for a doubled recipe in a nine by 13 pan. And so yeah, anyway, I'll post the recipe down below. It's super easy and the recipe for the cookies I made as well. I hope everybody has a fabulous, happy, healthy holiday season and Merry Christmas to all. Bye.